I'm Todd Grisham. Welcome to the one and only Brooklyn Hall. Alongside me is Johnny Nelson. Hi, Todd. Hi to everybody back home. It's time now for our tale of the tape. It's the incomparable Roy Jones Jr., 180 centimeters tall with 188 centimeter reach. And standing across the ring from him tonight, perhaps the greatest to ever do it, Sugar Ray Robinson. Five foot 11 inches tall with a reach of 72.4 inches. Talk about hot seats in the house. It's Roy Jones Jr. He won world titles at four different weight classes, including the heavyweight championship of the world. Sugar Ray Robinson, one of the most skilled boxers to ever lace up the gloves, inducted into the International Boxing Hall of Fame in 1990, and he fights out of Harlem, New York. It'll be ding ding from first bell there, off. All right, those are the numbers. Here we go. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. In the red corner, from Pensacola, Florida, here is a middleweight, a super middleweight, a light heavyweight, and a heavyweight champion of the world, Roy Jones Jr. Hiding out of the blue corner from New York, here is one of boxing's all-time greats with 174 wins in his 201 fights. A welterweight champion of the world, a five-time middleweight champion of the world, Sugar Ray Robinson. One of the hottest tickets around. It's standing room only for this, our main event. So all I can say, I heaven on earth. Heaven on earth. You to protect yourself at all times, and what I say you must obey. Good luck. These two fighters promised us an offensive show. Let's see if they deliver. Another scoring shot there. Hit him with a left jab. Fighters love being in this venue as the audience is right on top of you, and they will be bringing the heat tonight. They are ready to watch this showdown. Todd, I've got to give it to the promoter to pick this place. Every ticket is like gold dust. You cannot get these tickets. So if you are in this venue, you are watching this fight, trust me, we're looking to be sat here. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Oh, and he caught him with a stiff jab. <laughs> Missed him with that uppercut. <laughs> Quick punch scores. Counter puncher is going to wait for you to move first and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. Todd, I understand what you said. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. <laughs> this fight is closer than two pages and a book. Who's going to be the first one to get buzzed? an uppercut, a big uppercut, and his knees buckled that time. He just gets out of the way of that right uppercut. You 
You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. The counter fighter relies a lot on their instincts and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his fist back to block. To be a counter puncher, you've got to take them out of their pace. Do not wait for them, because if you wait, they'll pepper and pop you all night long. Rush them. Sugar Ray Robinson, just Robinson, goes to the canvas. One, two, three, four, five. Sugar Ray Robinson just got rocked. Final 10 seconds here, it's probably a round he'd rather forget. Well, he is glad to have heard that bell. There's the bell for round three. Punch lands. Both of these fighters have the conditioning to go the distance, no problem. They also have the power to end this with one punch. The middleweights are the best you can ever come across. Obviously, the glamour is a heavyweight, but the middleweight is the size of the average man or woman. When you get in there and you're letting the shots go, you've got power, you've got speed, you've got pace. You can stand, you can dance, you can do everything. We can look back in history. You know the amazing fights at middleweight are ridiculous. That is what writes our history book. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Robinson hit hard and he I don't believe it. One of the all-time greats, Robinson goes down. Ladies and gentlemen, a knockout victory and one of the biggest surprises of the year. What a build-up. What a journey towards this fight. What a fight itself. The crowd enjoyed it. The fighters enjoyed it. I certainly enjoyed it. And what a way to end the fight. There's no mistake there about who won. What a shot.